Bam. It's June 27th. That's what day it is today. Saturday, June 27th. We've, um, we're a couple of graduated boys. Maximum graduation was acquired. It's true. How'd that go for you? How was the ceremony? It was fucking, it was so sweaty hot. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, I was a couple hours after you. It was, uh, oh yeah, there was definitely some sweat involved. Um, but it, it went smoothly. Definitely some sauce. You know, it was, um, we walked through our school and mm -hmm. there was like six teachers who cheered and clapped for us and... Very awkward. Yeah, a little. Because every single one I was like, nodded my head and was like, thank you. I was like, thank you for clapping. Uh-huh. Uh, and for dragging your ass out of bed so you could... We were the ones who dragged our ass out of bed. 2,600 kids. Actually, no, 600 kids. That's how many kids were graduating. Really? Yeah, it's like 600, or it's 587 or something like that we're graduating. Out of how many? <laughs> out of the, how many in the... Senior class. Oh, I actually don't know. No, there was, I think there was 587 in the senior class. I don't know how many were graduating. Did you, Do you have the yearbook? I do. Dude, we need to look at that thing. Okay, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up, and we'll look through it, and we'll commentate on it. Welcome to the podcast. Kevin is such a fucking idiot. He fucking left me with the mic again. Little does he know that this podcast, I'm gonna foot, foot, no, I'm not gonna foot, I'm gonna put fucking, um, oh shit, he's back, never mind. Yeah, it's gonna be you slammed that door. What the fuck? Riveting commentary as we look at something the audience probably can't see unless I took pictures of every single page and inserted it into the podcast, which isn't gonna happen. Uh, my only contribution was the class, or was the photo from the start of the year. See, at the end of the day, fuck all of this. Let's just go to our fucking pictures. I want to know what I look like. Uh, page 70-something. This is 80. But I'm on fuck page 70-something. Oh, Fuck that guy. Okay. This is this is Neck just beard. welcome to commentary of just saying fuck that person. Fuck that person. Is this in any order? Yeah, it's in alphabetical. So I'm here. I'm back here. Seventy four. Bartholomew because it's B A. Bartho. Now this was before I discovered the uh, made the discoveries of the the hair tie and the beanie. Kevin, which, the hair tie looks so good. What which, the fuck is this? Which uh, single-handedly upped me from a, a strong five to a light six, if I do say so. But I do like my quote. I'm like a muscular boy with a bit more chest. No, that's epic. And then you. I'm all the way back because mine starts with. R. I'm looking for someone that like put a fucking quote like uh Office time stamp. Office, yes. Well, there's this one. Fuck you. There's another one I saw, too. But there I am. There you are. Well, that was that. That was that. Fuck this book. This thing is fucking thick. Yeah, it is. Even though they took a picture, they called me and three other guys into the video production room at some point in the year to pose, like, the Queen album cover, the Bohemian Rhapsody cover, where they're all, like, standing in shadow and... And so they were like, we're going to put this in the yearbook, and you kind of look like you could be in Queens, so stand at the back, and, and then they did, and then I'm, it's not in there. At least I, I looked through the whole thing. And, what is this? Uh, Kai, I don't know, unless maybe that's like a... No, I have no idea what that is. But yeah, graduation was acquired. Um, we've been trying to... I've been trying to get my driver's permit, but the place we want to go has been closed. Because of COVID? Because of COVID, so... Do you, you have to take the knowledge test before you get the permit, right? Or is that for the license? Oh, okay. Well, that's good no, enough. you just get a permit. And then... So you get the permit. Then you go to the driver's ed. Mm -hmm. And then once you finish driver's ed, you take the knowledge test and then the driver's test. Mm -hmm. okay. At least that's how I did it. Who knows? Yeah. Fucking might be different nowadays. Yeah, so that's officially in full swing. Went to the eye doctor yesterday. Because you have eyeballs. I don't know why I went to the eye doctor. Because my... Sight hasn't gotten any worse, and just hasn't changed. No, I mean it's got like a smidge worse, but you can't really tell. Who really gives a flying heck? And the dentist last week, I had. Fuck the dentist. Wait, did was it like like the dentist dentist? Like the dentist dentist. Wow, so they're actually allowing checkup. people to. They are, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, virtual weird dentist uh, appointment. I had four cavities, Epic. but apparently, I, I've always had a pretty good track record. I never really have got many cavities. 
Like, I think I've gotten nine in total, and four of them were at this last time. I do, so when they say, oh my god, you have a cavity, what do they fucking... Well... They just say brush and floss a little more? No, no, cavities, that's when they have to, like, go in and do the really, really, like, painful... Um, it's, like, really cold, you know? They like Root canal thingy? No, it's, like... Thingy, crown They thingy? bring in, like, the little thing, and they, like, scrub on it really hard. It's, like, really cold. and you Shut had, the fuck up! You've, cat. you've had cavities before, haven't you? No. Really? Never. Wow. You're lucky. I thought I was lucky, but you're a lucky boy. It's really... I've never had a cavity. Because I have I sensitive... I've had one, actually, but... Whatever. Continue. I have sensitive... Well, my gums have always been trash, but my teeth have been pretty good, but I still have sensitive Same. teeth. Same. And, um... So, like, what they do is they, it's really cold, and it's it's just, it sucks. And they had three on the top and one on the bottom. And, and they just, the like, bottom. drill them out? Kind of, but they, like, they fill it in with something else. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's just, it's a horrible experience. Like, it's not, I mean, it depends on the tooth and how sensitive yeah, that tooth is. Yeah, and if you're, yeah, because, like, the people that can fucking bite their ice cream. But they have to, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, but they have to numb you, and they numbed me, but they kind of messed it up because, like... They did it too high, so instead of being, like, around here, it was, like, around here. So my bottom tooth didn't get any numb. But your top tooth but was my top, numb. But my top tooth was pretty fine. That went smoothly. But then the bottom, Absolutely. that was just... That is some hour. amateur hour type shit. Yeah, honestly. that sucked. That's reported but to the police. Have you gotten your face numb before for the dentist? Mm, let me think. No. It's an interesting experience. You just poke it, and it's like, whoa. It feels like puppy, but it's not. It's kind of weird. I think... So, I think... So, when I went to camp one time, this one kid had a cavity. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, super bad. So, like, he was given this little bottle, and, like, the cap was also a brush. Mm. And you have to brush this numbing shit on his tooth. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck is that? He's like, dude, want some? And he drops it into my mouth. And it's super... It tastes super bitter. Yeah. But I remember, like, my mouth being super tingly. Yeah, that's kind of what it is, but extreme. It covers your whole... It was... Yeah, it was yeah. fucking disgusting. That shit was gross. Yeah, and it, it sucks sitting there with, like... Especially when you have to keep your mouth open. They got four things in your mouth, and you got, like, spit pooling up at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, what if you need to cough? Yeah, what if you choke on it, and then it's just spit's gonna fly <laughs> yeah. over it. They're gonna be like, ah... Oh, and when you... Yeah, and, like, when you choke on spit, it's not like a... <clears throat> it's like you're fucking... <laughs> you die. It's, it's you literally, like, ugh... Yeah. It's like the cough of the century, you know? Seriously. Yeah, fucking, I've choked uh, on spit before. This is fucking sucks. You just don't know how to breathe sometimes. Yeah. God damn. So that's fun. Um, we're reopening. The country's reopening. But yesterday was the most new COVID cases in America yeah. since the whole thing started. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's nice. Corona update. Yeah. Um, Capitol Hill, I heard, is, um, you know about the Capitol Hill and, like, you know? In Seattle? Yeah. Like how it's like there's no police and like people... Oh, yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're like taking it back now. Yeah, they are because there was like a couple of shootings, sadly. Really? Yeah, there was like some one person died. Um, it was a nice idea and it was okay for a little while, but whatever. How long did we... How long were we angry for? I mean, I like to think we're still angry, but the... the it's definitely changed. The period of time... It's so weird because now it feels like a normal major protest but like the couple of week period it felt like it was way bigger than just a couple like a big like, protest. in reality it was probably like what f- a week a week and a half maybe yeah but like two wow. weeks at tops but it was because that was that was a wild time fortunately i well i mean it was because the We're all part government out. never really retaliated like full like national guard yeah they wasn't fighting back so like they were just like meh yeah, so, but uh, there's still lots of protests and still there's lots nothing, of stuff, yeah. but... There's nothing to fuel the fires of violence. Now we're just all peaceful. Well, not peaceful, but you know what I mean. Yeah, although more people than protesting. ever... Protesting. Peaceful protesting. No more people were at, right now, than ever recognize the issues and recognize that Trump is a crazy, crazy president who gassed people outside the White House for his photo op. Did we talk about that? Or was that before that happened? They got... He, no, we didn't. There was people outside the White House, and he was like gonna go walk down the street for a photo op holding a bible in front of a church and they like threw they gassed him out of there it was a peaceful protest but they like gassed him and they all ran away and so then he and then he walked through and like stood in front with the bible holding the bible upside down 
Um, and then the the priests or whatever at the church said that, was, that this was disgusting. A couple of our priests were gassed too, and it's like it was just wild. So they gassed all the people so you could have a nice little. So photo you could shoot. have a nice little photo shoot. Epic. Backfired because he just made himself look worse. But epic. So yeah, epic. that's that. That is so epic. What a great guy. Yeah, I agree. Trump twenty twenty. Wow. That is disgusting. Holy shit, I didn't Riding even know. for Biden, baby. Oh, my God. If Biden gets elected, wouldn't he be, like, the oldest president now? Yeah. Yeah, that, and oh. Trump was the oldest president. Yeah, too. Trump was the oldest one. How old is that boy? Biden, 77. Oh, my God. That's my grandpa. And Trump, 74. He just turned 74. Dude. Oh, my goodness. He's as old as my fucking grandpa. Yeah, oh. He's an old boy, but he's he's all we got. So we have to ride for Biden, baby. Oh, my God. Um, oh, that hurts. Yeah, but wow. But he is. It, it. The polls are actually crazy. He's up, on average, like twelve points against Trump. Is it a lot? That's a lot because back in twenty sixteen, fucking nerd. But at this time in twenty sixteen, Hillary was like two points ahead of Trump, and um, and the polling was actually because she won the popular vote. She just didn't win. But if the polling is at all correct this time. Then Biden could whoop his ass unless Biden dies, which is one hundred percent possible. Unless Biden just fucking eats it if and he, dies. Yeah, if he just kills over. Then do we all just panic, or does Bernie? Pretty much. Does Bernie get to be in the Bernie? Bernie's the has to be right. It's too. It's too late. He's already. I mean, he dropped out and endorsed Biden, and even though I mean, it would kind of make sense because he has the second most delegates. Yes. Out of all of them, but I cannot see them doing that. Although. It's more likely now because Biden hasn't picked a VP yet. If he picked a VP, then his VP would be like, I'm the runner. Oh, now. then then if he died, then that yeah. guy would But be his VP isn't hasn't been picked yet, so if it happened tomorrow, maybe. Maybe that would happen, but it's unlikely. Fucking monkey boy. <coughs> yeah. Absolute monkey. Although um just last little touch on politics. On Tuesday there was New York and Kentucky, and I think Virginia all had primaries, and there were lots of big wins for, for the good guys. Big eats, In good look. Kentucky, the race was between um, this guy Charles Booker, super progressive, good guy, against Amy McGrath, who described herself as a pro-Trump Democrat, and they were that's confusing. They were running against each other, and whoever wins that goes against Mitch McConnell. You've heard that name. He's like. Nope. If if Trump was the emperor, he's like Darth Vader. He's like the the majority house leader wow. for Republicans. What and, a hot babe. Um. So whoever wins that, and it was for Amy McGrath was backed by all these millionaire super PACs and all that. But then, uh, the last week or whatever, Booker got a ton of endorsements by people, and then right now the res- full results haven't come in, but he's ahead by like two points, which bah, is which bah. is good news. And bah, then bah. in New York, um. This crusty old must mustache motherfucker who's been in wow who's been in the Congress or whatever for like thirty years and was endorsed this time by Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all the all the establishment hacks uh, went up against Jamal Bowman and Jamal who's never he's like a middle school principal or something <laughs> and he's also great he's like a great progressive and. And all that. And he whooped Elliot Engel's ass. He got like 30 points ahead of ahead So of what him. position are they going for? Like what um, they, what Senate they positions and and con- Congress positions. It's oh, just, just like it's both. to be in Congress. And to like, be in Congress. To be in the House. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? And AOC re-won her re-election and, and a couple other big wins. But So yeah, it was actually a really good news. Good news on Tuesday. Fucking Pog. Pog champ. Yeah, as get, they speaking say. Speaking of... Pog. Oh God. Okay. What? Speaking of, that's just like a Twitch term. That you say like when play the game. You know. Well, mm-hmm. Have you heard about the doctor disrespect situation? So I literally, like, literally, probably two hours ago, I like saw a notification on my phone for Google like doctor disrespects wife speaks up about something. I don't know. Tell me about it. So yesterday. Yesterday. Doctor disrespect was suddenly permanently banned from Twitch. And uh, permanently they banned. permanently banned. Yeah, and he has a multi-million dollar deal with them, but he was permanently banned. And they said the only thing they said was that it was not for a DMCA, so it wasn't a copyright reason. Um, and they didn't say why. And 
it's been 24 hours and still nobody knows why. Nobody knows why he was permanently banned, which is really weird. You think the internet would They can take it out. back the perma ban though, right? I mean, yes, they could take <laughs> okay, it back. Okay, so we're chilling. Yeah. But 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 I don't it gets, watch him, gets so. it, yeah, I don't really watch him, but continue. I like him. Um but yeah, it runs deeper than that because the the last 8 minutes oh, of his last stream yesterday were uploaded to YouTube. And they're very very strange he's acting really like bizarre like it starts out the first two minutes is pretty normal and he's like reading chat or whatever and hey chat thanks he's for about donates. to get off and then there's a point about two minutes in where it looks like he pulls his phone out of his pocket and he looks at it for a second and then like his whole demeanor changes like as if he got bad news or something bad and news he's like, bears bad and news then bears. He, but he's like trying to stay in character he says you know i was gonna get off but i think i'll change it to to, to just chatting I'm, I'm gonna stay on a few more minutes or whatever and then then he suddenly starts talking about this random documentary he watched recently about David Icke. Who's that? Who's he's a former soccer player and now he's a conspiracy theorist, like a big time conspiracy theorist. He's the guy who came up with the lizard people theory. That was, he was the originator of that. Okay. Uh, apparently, my grandpa on my mom's side is actually a huge fan of his and believes a lot of what he says. Nice. But, that is super. Epic. And then he said, and then the doc's like, "Yeah, I bought his book. I'm I'm gonna read it. It's pretty. It." He said, "Like it's um." it's good to step outside of your box and wake up or whatever. He's like, he's talking like all serious and he like screams. He's like, wake up. But then he goes back to reading the chat and somebody's like, are you going to play Roblox hide and speak extreme tomorrow or something? Yeah. And he's like, Roblox hide and speak extreme. And he like gets back into character and he Googles it. And then he pulls up a video of um, a couple YouTubers. My sister used to watch playing Roblox hide and seek extreme. And he just leaves it on for like three minutes and is dead silent for the next three. It's really bizarre. But as for those three minutes, he's like, it's like somebody walked into his room and he just kind of slowly watches them walk past and then watches them leave. Um, and then in the last like 20 seconds, he says, um, he says, uh, we're going to get through this champions club though. The world's a weird place right now, but we're going to get through this. Uh, and then, and then he like jumps as if he heard a loud noise or something. And then he ends it really quick. And that was the last we heard from him. And yes, his wife did speak up, but all she said was like, don't worry about it. Thanks for your concern. We're doing fine. That's all she Kevin, said. Kevin, we need to watch you right now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then he cuts to his outro, and that's it. It's the last we saw of the doc. And then he was permanently banned. Now, people have all kinds of crazy conspiracies. I've seen everything from like... Because uh, people have... Some other people on Twitch have been accusing like or coming out as like sexual assault people or sexual assaulters or whatever and then some other people say oh, it was like a child's thing and some other people say oh that video is um, house was being raided so like people say uh when he checks his phone his wife is telling him the police are here and then his wife comes in and says like you got to turn it off because the police are here and then he jumps because the police are like trying to get in and then he ends it really quick now that's like a putting a lot of things together and pulling it out who knows but other people i've heard i've even seen some people say it's got something to do with like human sacrifice and and stuff like that that's the, like the crazy far out there stuff but uh and who who knows because it, it's it's very strange that uh just that whole clip is kind of especially if you watch some of his other stuff it's very like he's like in character but it's like he's trying to stay in character while he's nervous this is scary else. i don't like it and uh we still have no idea wasn't his house shot at a couple times too yeah like a year ago it was yeah. somebody shot at his house and he's just a very strange man though yeah i don't like him then he starts talking about that cons i don't know if that conspiracy guy has anything to do with it maybe he knows something that i've never heard of that guy the yeah david ike he's i think i've heard the name but he's one of the big He's like out the British Alex Jones, basically, is what he was described as. Oh, British Alex Jones. Alex Jones! God, fucking crazy. Turn the friggin' frogs gay. God, streaming is very strange. I don't I don't know. Yeah. I mean, like, not the whole thing, but like, holy shit, they're like low-key celebrities. Yeah. But, like, yeah. it's very, eh, it's very weird. <laughs> like, uh, fucking... I don't know. Just very strange. I heard Mixer was like, they are like doing something there too. People are fucking mad. Mixer died. It's gone. What? They shut it down. That's literally what happened? Yeah, it just suddenly it were like shut down because they weren't doing good. They were losing money and now, uh, and everybody got released from their deals and they're like, 
But good news is we're partnering partnering with Facebook Gaming. And uh, everyone was like, the fuck? So, what? Uh, so Mixer's, yeah, Mixer's done. Did not take off the way. So what about it. Ninja? Ninja is released from his deal. Probably will go back to Twitch, something like that. Wow. Yeah. How does it work? How does how do the deal like? Do they just get paid monthly? Like, I mean, it, let's they say they sign... like have a million dollar deal. So like, do they get paid monthly until the million dollars is gone, or like? Probably. Yeah, I mean, they sign contracts, and like, they those contracts continue, or like, they're released from their contracts of having to like fulfill their side, but they'll still get. Yeah, their I think it's like kind of like the athletes with their yeah. however they sign their shit. Who knows? You know. Mm-hmm. Wow. But yeah, people Mixers are just been... gone. People have just been talking about the doctor disrespect thing on Twitter, being like, those last eight minutes are really bizarre. Like, I just can't stop thinking about it. It's like a huge cliffhanger. And, like, who knows? And nobody, like, nobody knows. And his wife, the only thing she, only thing she said was, like, thanks for your concern, basically. And, uh... Fucking fuck. Wild. That's kind of creepy. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Weird. Doctor disrespect is a July's, uh... Because it's almost July. Wait, is it almost July? Yeah, it's almost July. July. Doctor Disrespects is July's uh, fucking event. There's been so many events. Like, I mentioned the, like, the big, like, the Me Too thing was happening with Twitch streamers, essentially. You know, people accusing people of sexual assault. Really? Like who? I think Angry Joe was one of them. And some other people I don't remember. Chris D'Elia, also a comedian, uh, who I've watched his podcast occasionally was outed as being a bit of a creep and trying to creep on under like underage girls and he sent like 500 messages to, to 500 different people over like the last 10 years to underage girls or questionably aged girls and like it's just been there's a, that, that one's weird that one was wild because it hit kind of close to home he's not like one of my favorite podcasters or comedians but i've watched him a, a decent amount it was like freaking damn. freaky deaky dude yeah Let's and he runs it. in the same circle as like joe rogan and no not joe not joe. our man's joe <laughs> you better be holding up holy shit but it's just been a lot of also the director of shrek 2 died yesterday what the fuck which we're about to play shrek 2 in a little bit so we'll, we'll dedicate it to him. No, he freaking died. He's, he's only sixty-two. It was like cancer, I think. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I fucking need. Did you see Doctor Doctor Strange? No. Did you see uh, the Last of Us Part Two? Yeah, Last of Us Part. It's I mean, finally it, out. I'm only like a quarter of the way through. Um, I love it so far. I think it's fantastic. Epic gamer moment. Have you seen any of it? Nope. Or? Not because you've bit. seen like the hate and the backlash for it, right? Nope. Everybody hates this game. Why? Uh, I mean, I can't really say why without diving into spoilers, but does it just not follow the the story? No, it does. It's got it's Joel and Ellie. You know, it's um. You haven't seen anything? Any, do you want? Do you care about spoilers? Not really. Um, Doesn't he die? Joel, yeah, he dies. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. Fuck those. Fuck like, TikTok. Fuck you. Like, towards, not right at the beginning, but towards the beginning. And But the thing is, the second The Last of Us 2 was announced, like, six years ago, I, th- I made two predictions of mine. It was announced six years ago? Yeah, it was back in 2014, I think. Holy like shit. A, a year after the first game came out. God damn, why do they do that? Fuck those guys. Yeah, the first trailer came out four years ago. But I made two predictions in my mind. I'm like, Joel's gonna die. And Ellie's going to be, like, the main character. Joel is the main character of the first one. Ellie's going to be the main character. Yeah, Ellie's the runner-up. Both of those two things were correct. And as the trailers kept coming out, it was, like... It was basically, like, hey, we're going to kill Joel. So get ready. He was old anyways. Yeah, but... And then people were upset. Well, people were upset the way it happened. Because it's, like... It's it's really brutal. It's, like... How'd he die? um, Basically... So the game starts out in Tommy's little town. They've been living there for like four years. Yeah, where they left off. Last yeah, time. Pe- peacefully for like four years. Everything's great. Um, you and the wake Fire up. Nation attacked. Yeah, and, and well, the prologue is like a week after the first game ended. You get like some immediate follow up where really? Joel like tells Tommy what happened, and it's a re- and you get to play as Joel for a second. Wait, who's Tommy? His brother. Oh, okay. And you get to play as Joel for a second, riding around on a horse, and then there's like a really nice scene between him and Ellie where he plays guitar and Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought about it. And uh yeah, and uh then then it skips to four years later 
and you play as Ellie for a little bit. And you have like a snowball fight, and you ride around with Dina, who's the girl you like, who because like, you're kissed bi. Her last night. And um, you're a this bisexual is cool, lady. There's this cool Asian guy named Jesse, and like it's everything's nice. And then and then all of a sudden, like a half hour in, you cut to this other character you've never seen before, named Abby who's like with this group of people that you've never met before and you would just play as Abby for a little bit and then you and then you find out oh they're right next to the town where oh, they live okay and then they say like I wonder if he's in there we're looking for somebody and they're and it basically Jill. there's and then it cuts back to Ellie and you walk around for a little bit and then you cut back to Abby and she gets in trouble with all these zombies but then Joel and Tommy come out of nowhere and save the day and help you and then you fight with them to get out and then you take Joel and Tommy back to the place you're hiding and, it's like, and they're like Howdy, partner. We just we found you and we helped you. And then no. Tommy says, "My name's Tommy. This is my brother Joel." <gasps> and they and then like their faces like drop. It's a really good scene. And they're like, they're, bruh. they're like, what the? And then make a bro. And then man. and Joel's like, um, "Y'all act like you've heard of us or something." And Abby says, "Cause we have." And he shoots him in the leg with a shotgun, and they bash Tommy's head in with like the butt of a gun, and and uh, then they like. Abby beats him, beats Joel to death with Why? a golf club, and Ellie comes in right at the end, and they pin her down, and as he bashes his head in, and he dies, and it's really sad, and it's really brutal, and it's really dark. I think it was well done. Wait, why did why did they not like Joel? Because I th- well, I haven't gotten to this part in the game, but I got it spoiled. I think I believe it's that Joel, the surgeon that he kills to save Ellie at the end of the last game, game was this girl's dad, and um, yeah, and that makes sense. And so she like hunted him down and what a fucking prick. And and the rest of the game is Ellie and Dina going to get revenge. And there's other, I haven't gotten past that, but wow. it's it's really good so far. And it's it was a really well done scene. Everything I, I'm loving it so far. So so Joel died because of revenge, and now Ellie's gonna get revenge. Yeah. How epic! That's double revenge. That's two revenges in one day. Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably not in one day, but you know what I mean. Well, yeah, something like that. And they're going down to Seattle. You can actually walk through the streets of Seattle. Seattle? And like, it's Wait, where does it after. take place? Where does the first one take place? Like, probably like Little... Oh, it starts in Boston, and then they go all the way across the country. Boston? Like, oh my god. Yeah. And really? I forget the other places they stopped. Jacksonville, I think, was one. And they end in is. where? They end somewhere... I don't know if they in end the in northwest? Canada, but somewhere in the northwest, and then they go to Seattle in this one, oh. and you can walk around the streets, and it's like modeled after a real Seattle. Wow. Although, one of the f- most people are bashing it. Like the the critic reviews came out, and everyone, all the critics were like, "This game's amazing." Some of them said it's better than the first one, um, and then uh, the game came out, and everybody was like, "This game is trash." And then the only couple of people I've seen since then who've been like oh this game is good is donkey gave it a really good review wait why do they think it's trash um most well at first it was like it was because joel dies and dies in the way that he does and i was so confused because i was like yeah i didn't want joel to die and it was there's probably hard... more than one joel in the world and what I, if it you was, killed the wrong it was joel? a really hard yeah, that's true people were like what if they just use fake names and abby never would have killed joel but it was like but he's fucking dead yeah, suck my nuts i was like it was like I was mentally prepared for Joel to die for, like, years, and nobody else caught on to the fact that that was probably going to happen. Fucking monkeys. Other people have said, no, I genuinely think the story sucks, and you're I just don't like it. You're just butthurt. So far, so far, the story's been great to me, and there's been lots of great you are scenes. You butthurt that Joel is The visuals dead. are fantastic. The, the music is great. The gameplay seems to have improved. The PlayStation the, 5 epic everything seems epic to me so far and i'm i'm only like six hours in of a 30 hour long game it's really Holy long shit so. oh so my we'll God. see that's so strange wow so yeah joel dies i was i was expecting that too yeah oh i think i actually saw that scene on tiktok yeah because like ellie's like no please let go She's of me like, joel fucking get up and then and then like he, she tries to run after joel but she gets tackled mm-hmm. and then he gets fucking schmacked yeah i just didn't recognize the characters yeah and he's he's in the rest of the game through like flashbacks and he shows up as like a ghost and i think he like helps ellie with like killing things and stuff but wow that's so sad it is sad it's very sad like it's a really sad hard to watch brutal scene but it's well done and it wasn't like it's not like game of thrones where they just messed everything up it's like if uh 
if the game had killed Ellie right at the beginning, then I could see people getting mad because Ellie's like the point of the story. Yeah, no, it's like she's like the. But it's like Joel was next generation, you know. Yeah, Joel was like. It's like, yeah, the first game was his story, and then the opening of this game is, like, the end of that, because it's, like, right after the first game. And then or, like, skips and like, it, like, if the story was, like, oh, Joel is sick, and you're on an adventure to go get something to heal him, I guess yeah. that would have been kind of viable, too. Yeah. But not nearly then, as epic as Joel fucking dying. Yeah. I don't know. I was... I saw it coming, and, uh... Although, I thought it was gonna be even worse, because the fact they make you play as Abby at first... Like for a little bit, I thought for sure wow. they were gonna make you kill. Mega Joel. tease. Like, <gasps> I thought, they should have made you kill. Joel. I, I, I thought that too. I was like, after after like I would calm down, the scene was over. I was like, they should have made they should have made you use the golf club to, cause that would have that would have really flipped people. People, I thought that was gonna happen. That I is, was like, holy shit, this is gonna happen. That is some brutal. And then shit. it doesn't happen, and people are still mad. I was like, imagine if they had done that, people would have flipped. Dude, fucking hell, that would have been epic. Yeah, that would have been really... Man, Oh, did you see the BMO, Distant Lands? I haven't seen it because I'm still watching the original show, but... No, it's not... I don't think it's it. out yet. You know, it came out two days ago. The, like, the official thing? Yeah, the episode, two days ago. <laughs> Damn it! Yep. I watched the intro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you know there's a real BMO in outer space? They launched a BMO in this, or it's not the law launched it. It's in one of the ships or satellites. Like the actual BMO character, or like yeah, like a like a toy BMO or whatever that can really? talk. Really, there's a video of it. He's like sitting in a little room and there's stuff floating around. That is so epic. Because it's in outer space. That is... How are you still watching Adventure Time? I, I'm I finished it. We've been slowed. We slowed down for a little bit. God We're watching only like a few a week now, but it's also because our friend's been here for. What episode are you on? Uh. Towards the end of season five, and so we still have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm literally almost. Oh wow! I finished it, and you, oh, you're slowing the. Yeah, button. yeah, I'm slowing down. I'm still going on uh, Breaking Bad though, which is still pretty good. Feeling so good, but I'm so bad. God, I I need to watch the new episodes of Adventure Time. I'm gonna cry. Yeah. There's so much shit. There's so many unanswered questions. This Kevin's about Bimo, and then there's like gonna be one about Princess Bubblegum, and then there's and Marceline, and like, Finn and Jake. I think it's gonna be Jake the, and Finn you know, and like, Jake the Finn, Finn and Jake. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. I hated it. When did it end? Twenty eighteen. Eighteen. I was gonna say seventeen. Fuck. Wow, that was three years ago. Holy shit. Two years ago. Twenty eighteen. Oh, I was thinking 2017. Yeah, Fuck 2017 me. Three years ago. God damn it. Now I'm sad. Have you watched Steven Universe? You should get into that one. It's okay. It's not like literally the best thing ever. It could have been better, in my opinion. Meh. Meh. Mm-hmm. Gosh, what's a, I'm trying to think. Because I watch it on that one streaming site that you gave me. I'm trying to think what else I should be watching on there. Some stupid childhood... <gasps> regular show i need to get on that i watch that occasionally but not often yeah i didn't like it i really didn't like it at first i also watched uh gumball amazing world of gumball gumball's okay it yeah. didn't it was it was yeah um do you know call me carson yeah he he plays with the voice actor of oh, gumball yeah? oh yeah i didn't know i don't know who the ghost vo- voice actor is but his uh I can show you so many, like, you'll recognize him. He, he, uh, so, uh, what's his name? Junkie, Junkie Janker, I think that's his, like, gamer tag. He's a streamer now. Hmm. And he just, like, does stupid Minecraft videos. Hmm. And I, I, I need to show you them. They're pretty fucking funny. Yeah. But goddamn, we're getting fucking old. We're old. <laughs> now we're old. We're old yeah, boys. we're big boys. Give me the big boys. God, that really sucks. Adventure Time ended. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of back now. Yeah. After, what, two years of... Yeah. Ugh. We need to watch it. But it hurts on, like, that HBO Max. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can get it the same way I gave you the Adventure Time. Oh, episodes. really? That's how it works? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Holy shit. I'm so ready. I'm literally so ready. Along with that PS5, baby. Mm-hmm. Or have you seen the Xbox... What's it called? What's that one Xbox <sighs> called? The new Xbox? It's like called Xbox Series X or something. It's such a shit name. They have always... They all have... Okay, so you had the original Xbox. Xbox? Then you had Xbox 360, okay. And then you had Xbox One. 
even though it was the third one. And then you had the offshoots of that, which are Xbox One X and Xbox One S. And now you have Xbox Series X. It's like... <laughs> Couldn't you have called it... This new one, if you see what it looks like, it's like a cube. Just call yes. it Xbox Cube. That works. Xbox Cube. <laughs> Just call it that. Xbox Cube. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good to me. Xbox Instead of Xbox Cube. Series X, even though it's already an Xbox One X. That's implying that Series X, like, there's, like, gonna be more of that same... Fuck, they're stupid. Yeah. Who knows? Like, wow. with Xbox and Xbox 360, okay, that's fine. Because, like, so Xbox... The Xbox One X had better graphics meant for, like... Netflix and all that shit. Yeah, better. It just it was like the HD version. Yeah, but what was the Xbox? Is that the Xbox One S? I think so. So Xbox One S is just a smaller. Oh, fuck those guys. Yeah. I like the PlayStation One and then two and then three mm-hmm. and four and then you know I make fucking yeah sense. yeah and then five and yeah. I think like that. Have you heard like the PlayStation Two is like the number one like most sold. Mm-hmm. I have one. Yeah. Fucking crazy. I never had an X or a PlayStation. I think I went from a Wii to an Xbox 360 to an Xbox One. Yeah, I had. Yeah, it was Xbox original Xbox for me, and we also got a PS One at some point that I played on. I still have. What the fuck? It still works as far as I know. But um, and then 360, and then like later I got a PS Two. And then I never got a Wii, but my grandma had one, and we always played it at her yeah, house. Yeah, the you, was... you were there at, when we were at. The Wii was Wii fucking was epic, bro. And, um, and then we've just stood on the, even though when like the Xbox one was coming out, I was like, I, and dad, my dad asked like, Hey, what do you think? Xbox one or PS4? It's like, please, for the love of God, PS4. There's so many games that are like PlayStation exclusive, including last of us and a bunch of other ones that I really want to play. And there's nothing like Xbox exclusive that I'm dying to play. And he ended up getting an Xbox anyway. So god yeah fuck i you know i was my mom really wants me to have a graduation party right mm-hmm. but i'm just not social enough to have that shit yeah fuck that. Honestly. yeah i mean yeah when at my graduation party it was like it was a double graduation it was me and another person i know yeah. from childhood and um but she was only here for like two hours and just she came dick. she came with a friend she came late with a friend and she was only here for like two hours and then, Fucking yeah, she dick. dipped because her graduation ceremony was that day. Oh, but yeah. then she just never came back, even though her dad came back and, like, his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was only, I, I mean, I was here all the whole time, obviously. And I was just like, for the house. first couple hours, I was like, hey, what's going on? And then and then I got stuck in here with um, my cousin, who's like 30, has a couple kids. Like, one, a boy who's like six and a girl who's 10. And I got stuck in here with the boy who was constantly, you know, following me around, grabbing on my arm, doing the whole what little boys do. Clingy and I, child. And for, like, the next yeah. four hours, I was just stuck, like, in here or out there, just dealing with him, basically. Entertaining that While small everybody else mandolin. was outside and at my graduation party. So, I mean, <laughs> that was kind of kind of gay. You babysat at your own gay. fucking... Yeah. yeah. Babysat at your own graduation party. Holy shit. What a fucking monkey. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. I forgive. I forgive. I have I have monies now. Stupid boy. Gosh, gosh. We don't really hate that little kid. Just in case he ever hears this. No, no, we don't. I hate kids though. So whatever. God, you know. So I've been applying for jobs, right? Mm-hmm. I feel. You know, when you look at your fucking resume, I feel so fucking pathetic now. Honestly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I never had an actual job, so I like. What do I put on? I just put on bullshit. Like I, I'm good in writing skills. Uh, I'm good in. Ed- I'm very hard worker. Hard, yeah, exactly. Hard like, worker. Good at following directions and good at uh, working on my own. And, you know, yeah. And like, I did find this website though. My mom uses that. Apparently, a lot of people use. Uh, what's it? To called? like advertise like, yourself, I guess. Kinda, yeah. You upload your resume. I forget what it's called, but it's really good. Um, you can upload your full resume. And you can actually take, like, assessments on the website that are, like, timed and all that. Mm-hmm. And if you do well on them, you can add them to your resume and be like, you're highly proficient in blah, blah, blah. You're really good at so that way and people typing can look at like, it and be you like, know, like, whatever. The whatever, fuck. yeah. And people will look at that and go like, oh, he's really? Good. And it's, it's really helpful to be like, what it makes you fuck? feel a little better about yourself. Because yeah. you're like, see him? I can prove it. I'm I good did. at something. 
Yeah, but like I, we're out of high school. Like what? It, like you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like the only jobs we would really land, the only experience we'd really land is if we had like a family member or friend that like had a job yeah. that like they let you see and like you know, uh-huh. or like McDonald's. Like just work at McDonald's or, or like Safeway. I'm I almost, a food place is a last resort for me. Fast food and fast okay. food place. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. I know. Like, I don't want to. I I'd already if it already would be. I feel like it'd be weird for me to like prepare food for people. I just don't want to. Because you know I'm I'm a bit on the the germ, the germaphobe germ side. Fi- yeah. Kind not as much as I used to be, but I'm like really. I didn't know that. What I mean, fuck? I mean, not nearly. Like when I was younger, it was it was kind of kind of bad. But not, like I, I don't like sharing drinks with people or stuff like that. So if I like rub my balls on the top of your like soda can, you would just not drink it. I mean, if you rubbed them on the bottom of the soda can, no. What if I said the on top? The top no. Yeah, I probably probably wouldn't drink it. Damn. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> work at a hardware store, actually. Hardware they, store, yeah. Hardware store. I don't want to work at a fucking retail, like fucking Marshalls. Like, I just don't. They seem so, like, depressed. Yeah. God. Retail, I owe your story. So people just. Yeah, fucking Karen. And especially, yeah, the Karen apocalypse Dude, has been happening. It's, it's an all time high right now. It's seriously, there's been so many videos coming out of just Karens going loose. Going wild. I How are it. they raised? To I think love. Like that. I love it though. There's so many good ones. And um, like Gen Z just doesn't fucking like they don't. We don't put up with them. I saw a good tweet. It was like, um, Gen Z will be afraid to ask their waiter for napkins, but will body slam a cop or something like that at first glance. Oh like, my goodness! And that was a good tweet. But holy shit! But honestly. uh. Yeah, Karen. There's been critical has been covering them really well lately. But there's been so there's been the one where the lady like, I mean, my favorites are when they're like, they walk up to the person recording, "Don't you call me a b i t c h," and then they turn around and call the person you're, they're yelling at a bitch. Immediately after that happened, in one what? of them, what? She's and it's like, and then and she's being super. There's most of them or a lot of them are really racist and like they're fucking stupid. And then God. the one lady who was like walked up to the guy like this are right, you're you know, the guy was like painting black lives matter outside of his house yes and he was like and you know like, who lives here. i know who lives here and he lives he lived there he lived at the fucking house <laughs> it was so like and then like at the end like i heard an update on it and like the the lady said that she regrets not minding her own fucking business or something yeah. like that yeah she Good did for say fu- that she's like she was like really passive aggressive i fucking hate it. she was like God. we know who lives here yeah it's good. This is righteous, but just not on this. This is too like that. That's his fucking wall. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Like you said, how the hell were they like, raised? How were they raised? Just to think that that's like that's literally privilege in its finest form. <laughs> that's it. Privilege in its purest form. Holy yeah. shit! God, they're idiots. I, I do enjoy it. the videos though. They'll be dead soon. They're all dead. They'll all be dead. And then there'll be no more Karens mm-hmm. because we had to deal with them. And we know, wow, don't be a Karen. Mm-hmm. God, fucking, why do they get that haircut too? What's wrong with them? Yeah, did you see the video from Florida? Uh, Which one? The people. It was all the <laughs> people lining up to like in the government building, voicing their complaints about the mandatory mask thing. Um, it's great. It's like one lady said... You're implementing the devil's laws, and God made our. You're you're casting out God's beautiful breathing system. And then another lady said, "I have a medical condition." I, I was Fuck gonna, those people! It's I gotta pull it up later. Because I hate those. No, you're gonna trigger me. There's, it's I've so seen them on. T- oh, I've seen them on TikTok. They're like, like it says like on like a fucking like QFC like you have to wear a mask. Mm-hmm. And they're like, I have a medical condition, and according to HIPAA, I don't have to tell you it. <coughs> and I'm just like, bitch. Yeah. Let me see you shake that ass, shake that ass, ho. No, but like, fuck, they're so stupid. They're mm-hmm. like, I don't want to, I can't wear a mask because I have a medical condition that affects it and I don't have to tell you because of HIPAA. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. If you, like, shut the fuck up. Yep. Or like, have you seen the one, that one lady at the gas station with a mask on? But like, there's like a hole. Yeah, cut. yeah, that's all that one. That and, was great. And the cashier's like, you have a hole in your mask. And she's like, yeah, makes me breathe easier. And I'm like, oh, fuck why why do you why do you exist 
Yeah. Oh. There's so many. There's just so many people in the world. They're so fucking. That you get every kind of person. Even just in America, you get every kind you of person. You get every kind of And you of get fucking... a lot of every kind of person. Oh. It's like, I kind of like the quote. Think about how dumb the average person is and realize they're the average person and half of people are dumber than them. It's like... Uh, it's very yeah. true. Cause Think about the just... average person and, like, not a lot of people meet that average standard. Oh, my God, they're so stupid. Oh, whatever. So be it. Yeah. So let it be said. Yeah. God. Oh, I'm just waiting for the aliens again. I'm just waiting for the aliens. Yeah, Sweden picked up something in the No, the shut the fuck not, up. Not with, not with aliens, but they picked up... I don't know what it was. I saw it on Twitter. Oh, I saw that. They, um... Some nuclear stuff. Oh, no, that's not what I was going to say. Oh. I was going to say they found, um... Like, they found a fucking, like, ocean under our ocean. Well, and, like... about that. And, like, the, our ocean on the surface holds, like, one-third of the amount than the oceans that they discovered down there. And the oceans down there, like, oh. fucking, like, are, like, extremely hot. Yeah. So, like, shit can, like, bacteria and, like, shit can grow in there. And, like, eventually maybe other animals and, like, you know. That's spooky. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, it's fucking terrifying. No, the, but Sweden picked up something that was, like, oh, I don't know where it is. It was, like, uh, what, it was the same thing they detected after Chernobyl happened. And they, they covered up Chernobyl at first and said, oh, what are you talking about? And they're like, we're picking up all these nuclear stuff in the water that's like, as if something radiation. crazy. Yeah, radiation. Yeah. As if something crazy happened. And like, and that, like, that yeah. they're picking up the same thing. And they haven't picked what, up anything. In like the it ocean? Since, in the ocean. That's yeah. definitely Godzilla. And they haven't picked up anything like it since Chernobyl. That so. is most definitely. Like, because Chernobyl's fucking huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe an underground, like, fucking nuclear submarine exploded. And that's why. Maybe. Oh my god, it could literally be anything. It's gonna be Pacific Rim. Ooh. Of course. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Well, uh, scientists did recently discover, like, Fuck did you. we talk about something? What did they research? Uh -oh. It was like, uh, <laughs> it was like me. they just found a whole bunch of, like, buried, like, a huge, like, underground city or, like, civilization that is, like, all buried because it's really old. Um, and they found stuff like that before, but this one was, like, really big. Like, there was a lot, a lot to it. Um, as far as we know, I think the oldest, civiliz like, civilization was Gobekli Tepe. I don't know where that was, but... Probably existed, somewhere in... It existed, like, 12,000 years ago. Probably somewhere in the Middle East or whatever. And based on that, we know that there was, like, actually was a flood shortly before that, because then that's why it's, like, buried, and but there was a flood because an asteroid hit the planet, and, like, but that was nothing to do with the dinosaurs, and I don't know, it's, I, I knew more about it, like, a year ago, but. That's, wow. Nope. 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 Fucking underground. The underground, the subterranean people are rising. Like, those. Hollow Earth? The, yeah, like, the one fucking... What is it? That pilot that found the giant people? Yeah. yeah. Up in the Arctic or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We're fucked. We're so fucked. Uh, yeah, what's next? What's the next... What's the next big thing? The world is gonna fuck us. You know? They're, they're um... Because, yeah. like, so far, the... I mean, there's been a lot, but the big things have been, like, Australia wildfires, coronavirus, riots, and protests. Wait, I thought Australia wildfires were last year. No, it was January. What?! I think it pushed into February too. Australia wildfires, the world is like uh, World War Three. Well, corona. yeah, okay, that was start. That was the start, and then Australia wildfires, then Corona, and then the riots and the protests. Those are like the big things, and there's other things in between, like yeah. Kobe Bryant dying and Doctor Disrespect, I guess, and yeah, other things like that. Definitely. But what's the next big dude? No, I think it's gonna be like false hope. Like you know, we're gonna have like a. Well, actually, it could very well just be Corona two point is the next big thing. Yeah, because, because people are rising. getting fucking tired. It's fucking so dumbasses. funny to me how, for like a solid month, it seemed like almost everybody took it seriously. For like the, a lot of people took it seriously, and then after like a month, maybe two months, people were just like, "Well, I'm tired of sitting inside, so it's over." There's it's, nothing else to worry about. Well, yeah, it's so it's fucking like, dumb. I think, like, New Jersey, right? Yeah, New Jersey. I heard something about New Jersey. New Jersey, they open their beaches. Yeah. And, um... Right now, Florida, Texas, and Arizona are getting hammered by corona. corona. Yeah. Fucking idiots. They don't... They're so fucking stupid. And 
if you look at like the statistics in uh, Italy right now, remember how big yes. their outbreak was? It was suppo- like, it was bigger than China, but China was fucking lying. Yeah, and yeah, China was, but Italy had a huge outbreak, and they're like completely under control right now because they all fucking stayed inside. <laughs> yeah, even in Japan, Japan never locked down. Everybody wore masks from day one. Oh my god! And everyone wore masks and they like social dis- distance, but they never locked down. They never shut anything down, and they were fine. And they're they like, were good. fucking they yeah. Had no new cases. Americans are fucking stupid. Yeah, they we are. And they, they, they stupid, they, entitled, and like fuck. we just think that nothing is gonna affect us. And the fucking idiots think, oh my god, and they they want to call us the best country in the fucking world. And I think a big part of it, of why fucking monkeys, we're so dumb, is that. Because, like, pandemics and big diseases and outbreaks are c- common throughout history. Like, yeah. they happen. They happen. Remember, we looked at the thing. They happen every hundred years, really. Mm-hmm. And, but it, with this time, so much has happened in the last 100 years. Like, as far as advancements and technology and everything and mm-hmm. population exploding. That 100 years from today, like, 100 years ago from now, feels like a much longer period of time than, like, 1320 versus 1220 um because so much more happened so people think like oh yeah the spanish flu that was a huge thing but that was so long ago because so much was different yeah that it's never gonna happen again we're done with that and it's like no No. that's and 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 then when they do hear about something they're just like they don't take it seriously they're just they're like oh technology will save me toilet paper was so fucking stupid so fucking they're like we just gotta get out you know like yeah. this dumb, this like dumb bitch on the beach was like, we just gotta get out, you know. We can't. Nobody we can't. wants to stay inside forever. Nobody wants to wear masks either. Yeah, but, but no one just wants to do it f- because nobody wants to fucking, have a giant outbreak of. No one wants to fucking get fucking corona. God, you dumbasses. Like, oh, that's what I was gonna say. So New Jersey opened their uh, beaches like before anyone else. They're the first ones to do, right? Mm-hmm. So many people fucking went, and then the government like they're the. New Jersey was like, never mind, bad idea. Everyone go back inside. But no one fucking listened. Yeah. So the police were just giving out tickets on all this shit, and they fucking ran out of tickets. Mm. That's how many they were fucking giving out. <laughs> Holy shit, people are stupid. Yeah. But yeah, those three, um, Arizona, Florida, and Texas, are exploding. Arizona? Oklahoma, yeah, Arizona. What the fuck? If Arizona's at, landlocked. They don't have a beach. Yeah, if you look at the uh, they don't, they, why would they open the chart or whatever, it's, it's like... Just a di- giant desert. No one likes them. Yeah, but gay. And then Oklahoma is getting hit hard because maybe because Trump just had a job. Oh, actually, did you hear about that? Trump Trump's first big rally in like months since the Corona thing started was in Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma. No one cares about Oklahoma. And uh, but they were saying like, we got this that we can fill sixty two thousand people here. We got hundreds of thousands of people signing up to go. As some one of his like representatives said, we there's a million people who are interested in going or is trying to sign up and going to this, and um, to the to rally. the to the rally because Trump. Everybody loves Trump. Everybody see how big the energy is around Trump. And then the rally comes, six thousand people showed up. Like half of the stadium was completely empty. And um, it was because the vast majority of people who signed up to go were all, like, TikTok Zoomers who were just memeing on Trump and his campaign. Get fucked. Um, and uh, that that was funny. And he was apparently very upset over that, but... What all they realize when he was... No, but there are actual Zoomers that like Trump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Connor. Um, although, actually, he and the, and the crowd he runs in are starting to... Uh, reject trump because he's not going hard enough on because trump's just not that he, he's not far, trump's he's just not, not right vibing enough. with them he's, bro he's not he's not extreme enough for he's not them. extreme enough and uh wow. yeah it's wow that's a hilarious. that's that's a real left hook imagine not liking Tr- imagine being a trump supporter and then not liking him because he just doesn't go hard anymore bro yeah trump you've changed bro you don't you don't you don't get smacked anymore bro wow so I guess the people that supported him were more crazy than Trump. Wow. A lot of them, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. That's... Yeah. It is crazy. Oh, fuck that. Oh, shit. But good news is he's doing badly in the polls. So fuck we gotta guy. vote for 
Uncle Joe. Dude, even Logan Paul. Even, even Logan, Logan Paul, Paul. That was a good clip. You saw like, that? You yeah, saw I it? I saw that of him talking about like yeah that he was like I don't know and he, I don't know who maybe somebody else wrote it for him but either way he was like serious. Like, yeah, he, I watched it on a Snapchat. It. He was, it was really good. Yeah, go him. You know, he, he. I will personally say he refined himself. Go, go him. You know? I mean, if he keeps that sort of thing going, then yeah, yeah, or something you along know? those lines. First you know? of all, he was a fucking idiot, just like a dumb hype beast idiot. Then he did that stupid thing <laughs> in the forest, and now he's refined. You know, he just went through a little rough patch. You know. Yeah. Meanwhile, his brother is still. Still. Yeah. Didn't he get arrested? <laughs> Almost arrested. Yeah. For for looting. See, I don't know if you watch the video. It doesn't really look like he's looting. It looks like he's just standing close to some looters and like just watching. But like, if you're associate, like, yeah. you know, you can't blame the cops. Yeah, for, like, he was still being dumb for sure. Yeah, but like, why would he even be there? He's a multi bajillionaire. He has money. Mm-hmm. So like, you don't need to be. Why would you steal an Xbox One? You could buy like ten million of them. You dumbass. Yeah. God, but he is the younger one, so like, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But, you know, go Logan Paul. Go him. He told us to vote. He Like, you know, if Logan Paul can vote, so can you. If a guy that documented a man that killed himself can get his shit together and vote, you can too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's true. Honestly. Damn. God, fucking idiots. But so be it. And that, that, that concludes this episode, I guess. Yeah, anything else to talk about? No, sir. What episode is this? Nine? Fuck. Really? Nine? I think so, yeah. I think I thought last one was nine, but it was actually eight. So I think this one's nine. Fucking nerd. All right. Well, that concludes this shit. That was a good one. Epic. Next time, I'm planning to talk about music. All righty. Sounds good. That concludes it then. Epic. Epic.